Well, I'm seeing here day 43, do it to life. Let me pull off right here. It's your boy Op Z. Day 43 on there. Do it to life for life. Do it to you. Do it to 2021. Guess what? It's dark. Man, I shot a video this morning. Straight preparation. Let me put a little light on this sucker. Straight preparation. You know what I'm saying? But I ran out of memory, right? I ran out of memory. And that video did not save. It did not save for anything. So I'm shooting it tonight. Today is Monday. Man, come on, man. Today is Monday. And it's ass. Asking it is given. Doing all this stuff from Matthew chapter 7. Trying to do some fancy driving. I'm going to rush out of traffic. All is from Matthew chapter 7, which was an acronym, and the asking it is given. A is for on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That's what I do. Is I ask the question. And it's only really one one question to ask. And it's the one thing question. What's the one thing that I can do that such by doing it will make everything else easier or unnecessary? So that's how it was. And so what I do in a, on that one thing question is uh, I just ask you for the week, you know. What's the one thing that I could do, you know, to increase sales this week? To, uh, who should I talk to this week? What customer should I talk to? What strategy should I use as far as uh, finding solutions for my clients? And so those are the questions that I ask. Know, on, a, on a regular basis but also you can use those questions in any little small thing here's a here's a classic example you know another part of me uh, wanted to lose weight and we were sitting down I said you know all you got to do is just drive by the gym because we've been working on this for a year just can't get the consistency up because it's got rules it's, you know we make these rules up for ourselves so I said look he said I'm going to crush this thing this week man I got that load off my shoulder I'm going to exercise every day I said look it hadn't happened in the past but here's the deal can you give yourself permission to change the rules I said what do you mean I say you have rules like if you can't you know do your full circuit ain't no use of you going you have a, like if you only got 30 minutes to exercise, would you still go? Yeah, I go. What if you only got 10 minutes, would you still go? Oh, I see what you're saying. I said, yeah, would you still go? Yeah, I go. So what if you only got five minutes, would you still go? He said, yeah, he would still go. I said, look, all you got, let's just make this rule up. Let's just put your small legs. All you have to do is just drive to the gym. So we tried that, didn't work. So he's on the new kid. Well, I just heard this guy say, it's real simple. All you got to do is just go, just say you're going to walk in. I said, that sound good. I said, yeah, man, that's our easiest pie right there. I said, let's write it down. Now, that's, that's the key to the whole thing is just writing everything down. So he said, yeah, let's write it down. So we wrote it down. I said, now, the thing that I asked you to do that we said we was going to do is just drive by the gym. Write that down. Wrote it down. I say, now, this is where we put the focus in question. Between these two things, what's the one thing that you could do that if you did it, would make the other one easier or unnecessary? And when it's out on paper, you say, that's a no-brainer. It's got to be drive by the gym because if you drive by the gym will make it easier for me to go in the gym. I say, yes. Yeah piece of cake and so that came out through an interaction that's why I was saying that I'm, I, I know that we learn faster and quicker when we share because it says in the Bible where two agree spirit of perfect harmony I wasn't trying to get over him he's not trying to get over on me that the Lord would appear also the spirit appear also with a better solution more clarity more things come once we get in as a team in the spirit of perfect harmony. You know, I didn't have an 
ulterior agenda or anything like that. We're just trying to work through a problem. That's all we're doing. We're just working through a problem. Ain't no judgment or anything there. We're just working through, right? Because that's why I, I found out it's easier for me. And I know it says it in the same chapter in, in, in Matthew chapter 7. You know, hey, first work on yourself before working on others. It's how it sounds, right? But it means judging others. Don't judge the other person. Now, because I understand that that person is a mirror of me. So if I'm working a problem out, if I see a problem with this person, I know that it's not the person that I'm looking at. I'm looking at a representation of the problem that's in me. So that's why I work so hard to help them solve it because I'm solving it for myself. See, because that, that came out, and I was immediately able to go back to my 411 and start writing. See what I'm saying? So that's, that's, that's the whole gist of it. It's just being able to focus and ask these, these questions that give us a direction. That's all they do. They just give us a direction. And then once we get on the scent, that's going to be Wednesday. Then we're going to start seeking once we're on the scent. we on the scent, you're going to be looking for clues. And we're going to do that on, I normally do that on Wednesday. The night before, I look up the definition of seeking, inquiring, looking, searching. I want to know all these definitions. And then I want to be able to, to, to stay on that scent and then just keep on looking. Because I think I'm on the right path. I know I'm on the right path. They say, trust the dominoes will fall. So that's your boy, uh, Ob Z, observing. You know, we need to observe these, these thoughts that's kind of going through our minds. There's still some things left on the plate. Some things that I had ordered at our postman, ordering some vinyl stickers, which is easy. But it's a stronghold in my mind that I got to get the best deal on them with size, with flavor, and all this stuff like that. Hey, do I really want, this the brain talking, right? brain to come in and say, hey, well, look, since it's dark, they may not be able to see the vinyl. Maybe you should go and glow in the dark vinyl. Maybe you should get a light that plug into the cigarette lighter. Maybe you should get a sign on top that goes on top so people can see it all over the place. And maybe you should get an LED sign. See, the brain will go off this because that's his job. And I know that, right? But knowing it and being able to counterbalance that or counteract that, it's a whole new ball game. And I think it's focusing questions because on TikTok I do a little something on TikTok, but it's only one thing I do on TikTok. It's only one thing that's needful is to, to, to have that question top of mind. Ask that question for the next 365 days, guess what's going to happen? We on the next level. Everybody going to be eating. Everybody gonna benefit by me just asking this question. Cause every time I ask the question in any area of my life, it's just gonna take me to the next level. When I'm saying here, I want you guys to test the question out too. Like I used it the other day when I ran over my laptop. But it's post work in relationships. It's post work with any and every type of problem. Now he called it a big focusing question. And a small focusing question. I mean, he goes in detail in the book. I hope you guys got the book. But guess what? I got something smooth for you. I got some links for some free audio books. So when you go to Audible, I'm going to have that link in the description below. I'm going to definitely put it below this, this, this video right here. I'm not, I'm all new to this social media and videos and stuff like that. So I'm definitely going to put it in the bottom so you guys can get that free book gift it to you. You'll pay. You'll sign up. they give you a free one and then you can use this link for another free one. You see what I'm saying? And then you get two free books. And then the Bible's already free, so there you go. Don't cost you anything to go to the next level. No excuses. No excuses. I know your brain will say, yeah, but I'd rather flip the page. I'm talking about the other night. I'd rather flip the pages. I like touching them. I like earmarking and highlighting. Uh, yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. So that means you ain't going to get into it. But she surprised me, though. She surprised me. She told me that she did put up a 66-day challenge calendar. You know, I hadn't checked in on her, but, you know, 
everybody gonna run through the same little thing. Everybody gonna run through the same little thing. And that's gonna be, they're gonna put a challenge on there, and that challenge, they may, now the, we've had several calendars up. Both my daughters have, have put these, you know, my daughter and my wife have put calendars up, and my son-in-law put calendars up, and they make it a week. It's about a week, seven days, and then boom, nothing. But we got to go smaller. So I'm going to touch base with her. She really hadn't, you know, we really hadn't talked. You know, I, I'm, I'm letting them get get a space a little bit. I, I would like to sit down. But as we keep going, as they see me hitting on, like I said, day 43, when I hit 66, and I put 100 up, right, I'm not looking for results because I know where it's going to lead me. See what I'm saying? You can't put your hand. Say it's a Bible verse. Don't put your hand to the plow and look back and see all the crooked lines you made. Because once you look back, the next line gonna be crooked. Because you can't you can't look backwards. You're going forward. You're gonna veer off. You see what I'm saying? So hope you guys are asking questions. Those questions be what, how, when, where, who. That's it. Now, why we don't ask why? Don't ask me why we don't ask why, but I'm going to tell you, why does not empower you? Why Why is like a like a victim? You know, so we, we don't ask why. We ask how. Whenever why pops up, we scratch it out and say how. You know, how can I? Because what is what you can do. Well, as you see, I'm almost to the Crisane, down with the Blizzane. It's your boy, Obz. Do it to life for life. Do it to you. Do it to 2021. Day 43, night. 43 days and 43 nights. Because guess what? Rain, sleet, or snow, day or night. Day or night. We're still planting good seeds. Now, this time right here, I normally wouldn't be talking. But like I say, since I didn't heed to the other warnings that I had earlier, that uh hey look you putting these videos on your phone so pretty soon you're gonna run out of space you need to start deleting some oh yeah i get to it no you still you need to start deleting some and today guess what it came up came up on me but i had already seen it but my brain ignored it oh we got plenty of data we got plenty of plenty of room i uh, will catch that tomorrow didn't take me nothing but a few seconds so there we go jabal obviously do it to life do it to life do it to life. Do it to your physical life. Do it to your financial life. Do it to your love life. Do it to your work life. Whatever life it is, do it to it. When I'm saying do it to it, let me reiterate. Day 43, I ain't went over this again. It's been a while. When I'm saying do it, it's do what we know to do. We already know what to do. We just got to have a strategy to do it to a specific part of our lives. Like you ask somebody how to lose weight, they know. Hey, I know how to lose weight. Okay, so, so why you ain't losing weight? Because they missing that piece of the puzzle, that habit of somebody breaking it down and say, okay, you know what to do. Let me show you the connecting on how to do it to that life. You see what I'm saying? And so that's, that's what we're doing. So we're going to Take the sayings in Matthew chapter 7 and say, The guy that do it, that hears these sayings and doeth them to his life, I'll show you who he's like. It's like a wise man that built his house, laid his foundation on a rock, built his house on that. So when the storm came, now the storm is going to come, it's inevitable. When the storm came and beat upon that house, that house stood. The other guy, guess what? He didn't take what he what he had, what he heard, and applied it and put and put that on a on a on a rock. He didn't do that. He just put his house on sand. Then used none of the stuff he had already heard, those sands in there on how to govern our lives, which is ask, seeking, and finding. If we don't apply that to our lives, then we then the house we're trying to build won't stand when the storm comes. But that's where that do it to life came from right there. Just to reiterate. Peace out.